Hello dear learners, how are you? I hope you all are safe and fine at your home. And I believe that your learning process is definitely going on wonderfully. Let's begin with the second part of chapter 6. This is the second part of the chapter, Test Measurement in Schools. Test and Measurement in Schools. So we had already understood what is test and what is measurement in the previous lecture. Test is a scientific term, it's a scientific tool which helps you gain data, which helps in measurement and then will do the evaluation. Alright? So now what we are going to learn today, we are going to learn motor fitness test or Halo India fitness test. Motor fitness test or Halo India fitness test is a very important tool to do. So in this chapter, we will be going to understand now in this session what is motor fitness test and what is Halo India fitness test. So, motor fitness or Halo India fitness test, fitness test. Very important thing to understand here is first what is motor fitness. Motor fitness. Motor fitness is associated with motor development. Motor development means smooth and coordinated. Development of bones and muscles. Bones and muscles. Which means motor fitness, right? Motor development is basically out of two types. What are the types of motor development? First is cross motor development. First is Cross motor development. Second is fine motor development. Fine motor development. As we all know, is cross motor development is development of large muscles. And bones. Fine motor development is associated with development of small muscles and bones. Okay, so motor development or motor fitness is associated with motor development. Motor development is smooth and coordinated development of bones and muscles. It is basically of two types cross motor development and fine motor development. Cross motor development is development of large muscles and bones. Fine motor development is development of small muscles and bones. When we talk about motor fitness, our body should have some sufficient amount of things. Like our body should have strength. Our body should have flexibility. Our body should have speed. Our body should have Third one is the coordinative ability, which is the ability to overcome, to perform movement as fast as possible. 
explosive strength, uh, it is do something very frequently. Next is endurance, endurance is the ability to overcome fatigue. Next, that is the speed. Uh, so when we talk about speed, it is the ability to perform movement as fast as possible, right? Okay, so yeah. Now, here in this Hello India Fitness Test, we have seven items. The first item is 50 meter dash, second item is 600 meter, third item is sit and ditch test, fourth item test is partial pull-ups, push-ups, standing broad jump, shuttle run, etc. So shuttle run, standing broad jump, push-ups, partial pull-ups, sit and ditch, 50 meter sprint is 600 meter, right? So when we talking about this motor fitness test, or we may call it Hero India test. Hello India Fitness Test. First, let me tell you what is this Hello India Fitness Test. Hello India is program which is associated with the initiative by the Prime Minister Modi, Sri Narendra Modi, has started this program. This program has a you know, deep adapt. Uh, root cause to bring out the grassroots development of India sports culture. They want to revive the culture of the sports from the grassroots level. They are making a lot of centers, street level centers of Hello India, talent search program is there, the sports for women are there, and many more progress is going on in terms of you know uh, elevating and enhancing the potential of various kinds of things. So when we talk about this Halo India program, so Halo, the most important, the most important, uh, the most importance of the sports and fitness in girls' life is really invaluable. Play a sport, inculcate training skills, develop strategies and analytical thinkings, leadership skills, good strategies and risk taking. A fit and a healthy individual lead to equal and strong nation. Sports is an extremely important component of the overall development of the nation. India is the last India in the last few years has made steady progress in the field of sports. This tremendous potential needs to be showcased at the global platform, right? Exactly. It's a time to inspire young talents, give them top not infrastructure and training for the highest level so that we can have some gold medals in the upcoming era. We need to incorporate a strong participating or a team spirit participation in sports that enables the player to demonstrate their true potential and helps them to overcome the various challenges of life. You know, in your has been introduced to revive the culture of sports in India from the grassroots level. Here in the program, there is a strong framework for all sports laid in the country. And it will establish various kinds of committees. The objective of Hero India is to develop people to find the possible areas of development and centralization for the safe players. Talented players were identified and the priority sports disciplines at various levels by the High Power Committee will provide the annual financial assistance. So how much financial assistance will be given to these players? 5 lakh rupees for 8 years. The financial assistance is given. As we all know that the first Hero India School Games were, which will be part of Hero India program were held from 31st of January to 8th of February 2018 in New Delhi, in which the athletes in the 17 age were to participate across the world, and there were 16 disciplines. Various disciplines are there in these various games, some of them are like basketball, boxing, football, gymnastics, volleyball, weightlifting, wrestling, judo, karate, kabaddi, kho kho, shooting, you know, archery, athletics, etc. As we know, the objectives of Halo India is not only the pre-field development, but yes, the 
community coaching for the mentors to provide sports coaching for the community from experienced players. The state level Kilometer centers to develop the sports hub centers at different state level. Also, annual sports competitions to encourage and promote sports competitions for players. Talent search and development to search a new, young and upcoming talent in the sports era and to provide games to them. They also help to utilize the upgradation of sports infrastructure to upgrade and utilize the sports infrastructure for sports development. Talent search programs, annual sports weeks, utilization and creation of infrastructure, physical fitness for school group children, sports for women, promotion of sports among the people with disability, development for peace, sports for peace, sports for you know women, the sports of uh, this academy is the national, international, region, state, and academic level to provide financial and technical development and support for different agencies. Physical fitness for the school going children to provide a curriculum which helps them to attend the physical fitness of the school going children. Sport for, sports for peace to develop and promote atmosphere to sports promotion for the peace, friendship, fraternity, togetherness, and cooperative society. Promoting rules and indigenous travel games so to promote the trade rules and travel games also. Now we need to understand. What are the test items in Kelo India Fitness Assessment? There are seven test items, so let's begin with that, which develops the various kinds of activities. So let's begin to write the Kelo India test, right? There are total seven. Let's begin one by one. The very first is 50 meter dash. The second one is 6 meter run or walk. Third one is push ups. Which is modified for girls. Fourth one is sit ups, partial run ups, we say. Okay, let's come on the fifth one. Second is just sit and reach test. The next one is there is a sixth one. Will be the Shuttle run. Okay, so uh, this is about this uh, 50 meter dash, 600 meter run or walk, push ups, right, which is modified for girls at the reach test, partial pull ups, and the seventh one, you know, no, seventh one. the seventh one is standing broad jump. What is the seventh one? Standing broad jump. These are the seven things that we need to understand. If we talk to very first name, okay, 50 meter dash. What does it measure? It measures the speed. Of an individual, what is the speed? The speed is the ability to perform movement as fast as possible, or it is the ability to perform movement at faster rate. Second thing is 600 meter run or walk. It's a long duration activity, so it measures endurance. What does it measure? It measures the endurance. Push-ups or modified push-ups for girls. So push-ups is basically a very very important thing. Okay, uh, it's good for the shoulder muscles. It is strengthen our shoulder muscles, right? So push-ups is uh, also uh, helps to measure the upper body strength and endurance. 
What does it measure? It measures the upper body strength and endurance. Now one by one we will be going to learn about each and every part properly, each and every part perfectly, right? Let's begin with the first test and the name of first test is 50 meter dash. Okay, so what's the name? The name is 50 meter dash. What does 50 meter dash measure? 50 meter dash measure the speed. Now what are the frequency requires? If you need now stopwatch, right? Cones, tape, measuring tape, etc. What is the procedure? So in the standing question, the ball, as and when the box forty percent started, an individual will have to start run. As and when they start run. They, uh, you know, uh, they have to finish this 50 meter dash. It means it's a straight part. The straight part will have to complete in some seconds. If you talk about the scoring, so scoring the boys, the excellent one is 7.0 seconds. These things are in second. Okay, for girls, the excellent uh, time is uh, 8 seconds. For boys, see, as I told you, there is a lot of psychological change, physiological uh, factors which define. Then if you talk about speed, so more boys are more good in speed as compared to girls according to physiological factors. So 7.0 is excellent for boys, 7.5 is good for boys, 8.0 is good for boys, uh, fair for boys. Poor is 9 and bad is 9.5. If you talk about girls, so for girls excellent is 8.0, good is 8.5, okay? And if you talk about this, uh, that is the uh, average one, is the average is 9.0, it is 9.5 for girls, 10.4 for girls, and the physical index is bad, so it will be 10.5. This is the score. So whenever we talk about 50 meter dash, it's a uh, one time, and uh, the, the scoring should be in seconds, it should be very fast, it should be very quick. Okay, so 50 meter dash should be very quick, 50 meter dash is a very, very important thing to go. 50 meter dash are not clear to everyone. Okay, so let me just tell you one very important thing about this 50 meter dash. So that you can 
what is the properly when we move on the 600 meter okay run it walk do you please mark my words 50 meter spring we also call it standing start what we also call it we also call it standing start Standing start, the spring or the speed uh, it measures, it's a speed uh, test as a multimeter spring test for the National Fitness Test also. It is a part of the National Fitness Test also. The purpose of this test is to determine acceleration and the speed. What does we measure it? We measure acceleration and the speed. So in the focus we write acceleration and the speed. Equipments like measuring tear, mark traps, stopwatch, cones, markers, flat clean surface, at least 70 meter. Precision is the test involved the running on a single table sprint for 15 meters with the timing and start from the stationary to standing position. There are two trials allowed and the best timing will be recorded. The timing for the evolution can be compared with the data that I have given you on the board. That is the best, it is excellent for boys is 7.0 and for girls it is 8.0. If you talk about the good times, it's good for boys at 7.5 and excellent for boys uh, for girls if you talk about this, it won't Now let's move on to the next one. The next one is uh, 600 meter. Okay? The 600 meter is uh, about, you know, let's cover it. So when we're talking about 600 meter, let me drop it. There will be the table will be different. Okay? So I will show you the table. Let's see it up it. Let, now we are going to plan about the length that will be 600 meter. Run. What does it measure? It measures the cardio, muscular endurance. What is endurance? Endurance is a capacity, it's a ability to hold up. The equipments required are it required a uh, clear ground, it required tape, it required cones, it requires uh, Oxford vessel, it required what? It required another thing is measuring tape. Procedure is uh, the number of students, around 4 to 6 students will stand together, they have to run a walk. Okay? So it's run a walk there, 600 meters, they have to cover in a very long time. Okay? The scoring, uh, talk about the scoring. So scoring is based on the way that I am telling you now. So basically, the seven test are the right. Uh, so standing for the right. Standing. Broad. Let me tell you everything. The first thing is 50 meter sprint. 50 meter sprints need uh, it's a standing start. And when we start the standing, we measure in the acceleration. What does it measure? Acceleration and the speed of the When we talk about the 600 meter run of walk, the 600 meter run of walk measures what? It measures the individual's what? It measures the cardiovascular endurance. Cardiovascular endurance. Next is sit and bridge test. Sit and bridge test, there is a sit and bridge box. Okay? So when the sit and bridge test performed, there is a sit and bridge box. In that sit and bridge box, an individual will have to say, we have to perform various things. And then and then the sit and bridge test is taken place. And on that time, it measures the flexibility. What does it measure? Flexibility. If you talk about partial curves, partial curves measure the abdominal strength. What does it measure? Abdominal strength. We also call it core strength. Core strength. Okay? Abdominal strength is in one minute how much times of partial curves are in 30 seconds, right? In 30 seconds, how many partial curves an individual can go? Next, if we talk about push ups, so push ups is uh, different for male, it is different for females. For females, it is modified, okay? So, it's measured what? It measures the strength and endurance of shoulder pushes. Upper body 
properly and effectively right so will be more convenient for you students to go through that properly and definitely this things will help you out to understand the things in an exact manner okay so let's let's uh, i hope you understood this problem and we'll definitely cover the another thing so if you go through the another thing that is i am going to attach here these digital platforms so that it will be wonderful for you to understand all right Calculate the body mass index, first open the Kelo India Fitness Assessor app. Once the app is on, select the take test option. From various test options, select BMI. The app is now ready to calculate the body mass index. Body mass index or BMI is used to measure the body composition which refers primarily to the distribution of muscles and fat in the body. Body size such as height lens and girths are also grouped under this component bmi is calculated by taking a person's weight and dividing by their height squared to measure the height correctly a stereometer is required if a stereometer is not there it could be done against a wall as well with measuring tape pasted on it it should be done on a hard flat surface the participant should remove shoes bulky clothing hair ornaments and unbraided hair that could interfere with the measurement participants should stand with feet flat together and back against the wall legs should be straight arms at side and shoulders level the participant should look straight ahead and the line of sight should be parallel to the floor the height should be recorded in centimeter the reading of the height should be typed in at the designated place on the screen To measure the weight accurately a digital scale should be used the scale should be placed on firm flooring rather than a carpeted floor the participant should remove shoes and heavy clothing the participant should stand with both feet in the center of the scale the weight should be recorded in kilogram and gram to the nearest decimal the reading of the weight should be typed in at the designated place on the screen Once both the readings are entered in the app, scan the ID card of the participant by tapping on the scan option. Once the age and gender of the participant is updated, save the record by tapping on the save option. This completes the process to calculate the body mass index or BMI. Conduct the plate tapping test. First, open the Kelo India Fitness Assessor app. Once the app is on, select the Take Test option. From various test options, select Coordination, and then tap on the plate tapping option. The app is now ready for the plate tapping test. The plate tapping test measures upper body reaction time and hand-eye quickness and coordination. It also assesses the speed and the coordination of limb movement. One table, two yellow discs of 20 cm diameter and one rectangular sheet of 30 by 20 cm size are needed to perform this test. The table height should be adjusted so that the subject is standing comfortably in front of the discs. The two yellow discs are placed with their centers 60 cm apart on the table. the rectangle is placed equidistant from both the discs the participant is encouraged to stand in a balanced posture the non preferred hand is placed on the rectangle 
The subject moves the preferred hand back and forth between the discs over the hand in the middle as quickly as possible. Once the participant starts this test, the start timer option should be tapped on the screen. This action is repeated for 25 full cycles. The total time taken to complete 25 full cycles is recorded. As the participant completes 25 full cycles of tapping, stop timer option should be tapped on the screen. The clock on the screen shows the time taken by the participant to complete 25 full cycles of play tapping. To record the data, first scan the ID card of the student and then tap on the save option. This completes the play tapping test. Conduct the partial curl up test. First, open the Khelu India Fitness Assessor app. Once the app is on, select the Take Test option. From various test options, select Strength and then tap on the Partial Curl up option. The app is now ready for the partial curl up test. The partial curl up test measures abdominal muscular strength and endurance of the abdominals and hip flexors which is important in back support and core stability. A flat clean cushion surface 2 parallel strips 6 inches apart is required to conduct this test. The subject lies on a cushion flat clean surface with knees flexed usually at 90 degrees with hands straight on the sides with palms facing downwards. It should be closer to the ground and parallel to the body. The subject raises the trunk in a smooth motion, keeping the arms in position, curling up the desired amount at least 6 inches above ground. The trunk is lowered back to the floor so that the shoulder blades or upper back touches the floor. Once the participant is ready and is in position to take the test, the start timer option should be tapped. Participant is encouraged to keep normal breathing rate. Results are better if the participant can maintain constant pace during the activity. Maximum number of sit-ups in 30 seconds is recorded. The timer automatically stops at 30 seconds mark. The number of sit-ups is recorded at the designated place. The ID card of the participant is scanned and the data is saved by tapping on the save option. This completes the partial curl up test. प्लेट टैपिंग टेस्ट लेने के लिए खेलो इंडिया फिटनेस ऐप को खोलें। ऐप खोलने के बाद टेस्ट लिंक विकल्प चुनें। दिए गए विकल्पों में से कोऑर्डिनेशन दबाएं और प्लेट टैपिंग विकल्प चुनें। अब ऐप प्लेट टैपिंग टेस्ट लेने के लिए तैयार है। ये टेस्ट ऊपरी लिम की मूवमेंट की गति और कोऑर्डिनेशन को मापता है। इस टेस्ट को करने के लिए एक टेबल पर 20 सेंटीमीटर डायमीटर के दो पीली डिस्क और 30 बाय 20 सेंटीमीटर आकार की एक आयत शीट की आवश्यकता होती है। टेबल की ऊंचाई को प्रतिभागी की लंबाई के हिसाब से ठीक कर लें ताकि वो डिस्क के सामने आराम से खड़ा हो सके। दोनों पीली डिस्क को टेबल के बीच से 60 सेंटीमीटर के बराबर दूरी पर अलग अलग छोड़ पर रख दें। आयत को भी दोनों डिस्क के बीच बराबर दूरी पर रखा जाता है। टेस्ट के दौरान प्रतिभागी को संतुलित अवस्था में खड़े होने का सुझाव दिया जाता है। प्रतिभागी अपना दूसरा हाथ आयत पर रखता है। प्रतिभागी प्रिफर्ड हाथ से लगातार जितनी हो सके, जल्दी हो सके, दोनों डिस्क को बारी-बारी से टैप करता है। जैसे ही प्रतिभागी इस टेस्ट को शुरू करने के लिए तैयार हो जाए, स्क्रीन पर स्टार्ट टाइमर विकल्प टैप करें। इस प्रक्रिया के 25 चक्र लगाने होते हैं और 25 चक्र पूरे करने के लिए लिया गया कुल समय रिकॉर्ड किया जाता है। जैसे ही प्रतिभागी टेस्ट के 25 चक्र पूरा करता है, स्क्रीन पर दी गई घड़ी प्रतिभागी के द्वारा प्लेट टैपिंग के 
पच्चीस चक्र पूरा करने के लिए किए गए समय को दर्शाती है प्रतिभागी के आईडी कार्ड स्कैन करने के बाद डाटा सेव करें और प्ले टैपिंग टेस्ट को समाप्त करें टू कंडक्ट द फ्लेमिंगो बैलेंस टेस्ट फर्स्ट ओपन द खेलो इंडिया फिटनेस एसेसर ऐप वंस द ऐप इज ऑन सेलेक्ट द टेक टेस्ट ऑप्शन फ्रॉम वेरियस टेस्ट ऑप्शन Select Balance and then tap on the Flamingo Balance Test option. The app is now ready for the Flamingo Balance Test. The Flamingo Balance Test measures the ability to balance successfully on a single leg. Test assesses the strength of the leg, pelvic and trunk muscles as well as static balance. While balancing on the preferred leg, the free leg is fixed at the knee and the foot of this leg held close to the buttocks standing just like a flamingo the test should be done on a non slippery even surface by standing on a beam or a brick the athlete keeps balance by holding the instructor's hand if required the timer is started as the instructor lets go to start the timer on the app start timer should be tapped The timer is stopped each time the athlete loses balance either by falling off the beam or letting go the foot behind being held. To do that pause timer should be tapped on the app each time the participant loses balance. Start the timer again when the participant is in the position. If there are more than 15 falls in first 30 seconds the test is terminated. The number of falls or loss of balance in 60 seconds of balancing is counted and recorded. The timer automatically stops at the 60 seconds mark. The ID card of the participant is scanned by tapping on the scan option. Once the participant details are updated, the data is saved by tapping on the save option. This completes the Flamingo balance test. Conduct the Flamingo Balance Test. First, open the Kelo India Fitness Assessor app. Once the app is on, select the Take Test option. From various test options, select Balance and then tap on the Flamingo Balance Test option. The app is now ready for the Flamingo Balance Test. The Flamingo Balance Test measures the ability to balance successfully on a single leg. Test assesses the strength of the leg. pelvic and trunk muscles as well as static balance while balancing on the preferred leg the free leg is fixed at the knee and the foot of this leg held close to the buttocks standing just like a flamingo the test should be done on a non slippery even surface by standing on a beam or a brick the athlete keeps balance by holding the instructor's hand if required the timer is started as the instructor lets go To start the timer on the app, start timer should be tapped. The timer is stopped each time the athlete loses balance, either by falling off the beam or letting go the foot behind being held. To do that, pause timer should be tapped on the app each time the participant loses balance. Start the timer again when the participant is in the position. If there are more than 15 falls in first 30 seconds the test is terminated The number of falls or loss of balance in 60 seconds of balancing is counted and recorded The timer automatically stops at the 60 seconds mark The ID card of the participant is scanned by tapping on the scan option Once the participant details are updated The data is saved by tapping on the save option. This completes the Flamingo balance test. To conduct the 600 meter run test, 
first open the Khelo India Fitness Assessor app. Once the app is on, select the Take Test option. From various test options, select Cardiovascular Endurance and then tap on the 600 meter run option. Depending on the number of participants, choose the same number of lanes on the screen. The app is now ready for the 600 meter run test. The aim of 600 meter run is to measure the cardiovascular fitness and endurance. The test involves running a single sprint over 600 meters. Participants should start from a stationary standing position with one foot in front of the other. The front foot must be behind the starting line. Participants are instructed to run 600 meters in the fastest possible pace. Once the participants are ready and motionless, the instructor gives the cue to start. There is no need to manually start the timer. The app is designed in such a way that the timer starts automatically at the sound of the Fox 40 whistle. Participants should be encouraged to practice running with emphasis placed on the concept of pace. Results are usually better if the participant can maintain constant pace during most of the run and use a strong closing effort. Time taken to complete the 600 meter run for each of the participants is recorded. To record the timing for each of the participants, tap split timer every time a participant crosses the finish line. The screen shows the timing of participants in the order they finish the race. To record individual timing, tap the scan option and then scan the ID card of the participant. Make sure the ID card is scanned in the same order in which they finish the race. Once you have scanned the ID card of all the participants, save the data to complete the 600 meter run test. To conduct the 50 meter dash test, first open the Hello India Fitness Assessor app. Once the app is on, select the take test option. From various test options, select the speed and then tap on the 50 meter dash option. Depending on the number of participants, choose the same number of lanes on the screen. The app is now ready for the 50 meter dash test. The aim of 50 meter dash is to determine the acceleration and the speed of the participant. The test involves running a single sprint over 50 meters. Start from a stationary standing position with one foot in front of the other. The front foot must be behind the starting line. Participants are encouraged to not slow down before crossing the finish line. Once the participants are ready and motionless, the instructor gives the cue to start. There is no need to manually start the timer. The app is designed in such a way that the timer starts automatically at the sound of the Fox 40 whistle. Participants should be encouraged to practice running with emphasis placed on the concept of pace. Time taken to complete the 50 meter dash for each of the participant is recorded. To record the timing for each of the participants, tap split timer every time a participant crosses the finish line. The screen shows the timing of participants in the order they finish the race. To record individual timings, tap the scan option and then scan the ID card of the participant. Make sure the ID card is scanned in the same order in which they finish the race. Once you have scanned the ID card of all the participants, save the data to complete the 50 meter dash test. To conduct the push-up test, first open the Khelo India Fitness Assessor app. Once the app is on, select the Take Test option. From various test options, select Strength and then tap on the Push-up option. The app is now ready for the push-up test. The push-up fitness test measures upper body strength, endurance and trunk stability. A flat clean cushion surface or a gym mat is required to perform this test. 
A standard push-up begins with the hands and toes touching the floor. The body and legs should be in a straight line, feet slightly apart, the arms at shoulder width apart, extended and at a right angle to the body. Keeping the back and knees straight, the subject lowers the body to a predetermined point to touch some other object or until there is a 90 degree angle at the elbows, then returns back to the starting position with the arms extended. When the participant is ready, the start timer option is tapped on the screen and the participant starts the push-ups. The action is repeated and the test continues until exhaustion or until they can do no more in rhythm. The number of correctly completed push-ups is recorded. For girls, the push-up technique is slightly modified with both the knees resting on the ground. Apart from this, everything else remains the same for girls as well. Once the participant is exhausted, tap the stop timer option and type in the number of correctly completed push-ups in the designated place on the screen. Scan the ID card of the participant and then save the record by tapping on the save option. This completes the push-up test.